Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to add the Hangout Toolbox to your personal profile and to a Plus page. I will show you how to add the Toolbox to a Hangout, um, how to set up your Plus page so it's running um, on your Plus page as well because a lot of people are having trouble figure, figuring that out. And, and I will also give you uh, a quick tutorial about the features of the Hangout Toolbox and how to use them. So first of all, let's start with the regular profile. I just created a basic profile, so there's nothing much on it. And to add the toolbox, you click here on Start a Hangout. Um, it will then open up in a window or in a tab, depending on how you open it. Um, you can then invite people to the Hangout, name the Hangout, whatever. Um, it's not relevant in this part. Um, you just click Hangout and then you will have the Hangout open. So um, to add the Hangout toolbox, you click here on View More Apps. This will open up another um, sidebar and then you click here on Add Apps. Then you will see this app picker. Um, by default it's set to the Featured tab and you can see a bunch of featured applications and in the top row you see the Hangout Toolbox. Um, this is a logo and if you hover over it you can see this blue button Install Hangout Extension. Um, there is a short description um, about what the Hangout Toolbox does and if you just click on the Install the Hangout inst Extension it will ask you for permissions. Um, these are the basic permissions of basically any Hangout application. Um, you can expand those to get some more information about what the permissions are doing. Um, don't worry, it's basic stuff. Um, we're not like spying anything or whatever. Um, you can also check the terms of service, privacy policy, or learn more. Um, those are links are set up um, so you can get more information about the Hangout Toolbox. Otherwise, you can also check out the Hangout Toolbox Google Plus page um, where I posted all the information and also um, more information about the um, each permission. And you just click Allow Access um, to grant the permission <clears throat> and then it will load up the Hangout Toolbox. Um, you will get the first run notice um, because in the beginning a lot of people were confused by the fact that their video was mirrored and they were seeing like the overlay of text like the other way around and thought it was an, an issue or a bug. Um, so I added this first run notice to make people aware um, that overlays are mirrored as well, but all the participants are seeing it the right way. You can just click that away by pressing OK. So then are you then you are on uh, the lower third tab. Um, but I will show you more um, about the features later in this video. Let's end this hangout at this point and see how that looks as a plus page. Um, for that I, I, I created a Google Plus page, the Hangout Toolbox demo. I just switch over to the page and start a Hangout here as well. It's loading up. Same procedure, add people, circles, whatever, name the Hangout and start the Hangout. Um, again, view more apps, add apps, Hangout Toolbox, install Hangout extension. But in this case, you may have noticed that the permission window uh, which pops up usually disappeared straight away. This is because pages don't have like an account backend. Um, so to, to fix that, we have to set a password for the page. Um, Google added this feature a while ago and a lot of people don't know about that that in, in, in for, for adding third-party applications um, or give access to third-party applications you have to set a password for your page. Um, so let's go ahead and do that first. Um, when you are the owner, this is important, you have to be the owner of a page. Um, you go to the upper right corner and click the small arrow next to your profile picture and then click, to, uh, click on page settings. Um, this will open up your pages settings page where you see all the information and notifications and all this stuff. And if you scroll a bit down, you see 
third-party tools and a generic um, username um, for your plus page, which is basically your page name, a random number at pages.plusgoogle.com. And it says to take advantage of third-party tools by setting up a password for this page. And this is what we are doing right now. So click on set up a password and it will look like um, uh, you know, regular um, sign up for, for your account and then you just type in a password, right? And now it asks you um, your page has a new username, the same username as we, uh, as we have seen before and it asks you to create a new password for your page. So you just set up a password twice and then click continue. Then, hey, you have set up a username and password for Hangout Toolbox Demo 1. Um, it says again, your u page's username is toolbox random number pages plus google.com. And then we just click on open our page. And in this case, now we are back to our regular profile. Um, so now to enable the Hangout Toolbox, we have to get the um, username again from our toolbox, page settings, scroll a bit down, and copy the bolded text here completely. Copy that, then sign out, enter it as an email, type in your, your previously set password and sign in. Now you log in, in directly as the page and as you can see it's not having the page's name up here or something else it's the page's email address. You can also go to Gmail and set up a proper email alias uh, at, gmail, uh, at gmail com alias if you want that. Um, for now we, we, we don't do that. Um, so once you're logged in as a plus page you can click on start a hangout again <clears throat> Go into the Hangout, again, View More Apps, Add Apps, Hangout Toolbox. And voila, in this case, we see Allow Access, the window doesn't disappear, and we can grant access to the app. So, and now is one more important thing um, during the setup process, because a lot, a lot of people stayed logged in and were wondering then, like, why is my Hangout on Air not streaming to the right YouTube channel and stuff like that. So to fix that, you have to do this once for all managers of your page, right? So you can end this Hangout again. We will log out from here and then log in real quick again as our user. So we are now back to our user, right? And we just switch to the page as we um, were doing it before, right? You see Hangout Toolbox on the top, not the email address anymore. Hangout Toolbox, we just switch to the page as any manager can do it from our regular Google Plus profile. And then we click Start Hangout again. And you will see that we have the Hangout Toolbox already here because we added it on the pages account to our hangouts so and once this is en enabled um, every manager can do that so just open up the hangout and it works like a charm so this was the basic setup I hope you were able to follow the instructions so far if you have questions um, about the setup process I will post um, the link to the help center article um, to the video description below and also um, feel free to reach out to me on Google Plus um, and I will help you to set it up. So but as you can see, we are here now as a page running the Hangout Toolbox. Um, I'm not really able to show you any overlays right now because I am um, using the webcam while I'm recording this video. Um, but as you're familiar, you can just click turn, um, turn the lower third on and off, edit your name 
um, whatever, add a link to your website, choose an icon, <clears throat> but let's start all over again. Um, so you have on the, the <clears throat> in the toolbox you have the, the tabs on top, um, we have the lower third, meme face, um, the soundboard, comment tracker, and info and support. Info and support gives you a brief description about the toolbox, what apps are in there currently. Um, I removed the control, uh, volume control because there are some issues with it, um, but this will be ba added back later on. Um, you will also find some links to the product pr project page with the documentation and more information about the project and um, some thank you note to Gervin Storm for the comment tracker code. Um, so let's start with the lower third. Um, some of you may already know the app and just are interested in the fact how to add it as a plus page, but I want to give like a brief introduction um, about the feature set at all. So in the uh, lower third tab, in the, in the first box, you have the basic lower third. So this gives you the ability to quickly add a lower third displaying your name, company, whatever, and the link or any additional information in the second um, input box here. So you can just type in a name, <clears throat> like in this case, more it's uh, Dogsdorf, and uh, URL, whatever. And then you have a fancy um, color picker where you can define the color of your lower third. And uh, you can also choose an icon file. If you have a company logo or whatever, you can just click it here, select it, and use it in your lower third. <clears throat> the best way or the best size for those logos is uh, 25 by 25 pixels. Um, the square ratio, um, if you have something rectangular or wider, it may cover your name. Um, so it's best to have something square. It can be bigger, it will be downscaled to 75 by 75 anyway. Um, if you don't have a logo but you still want to have something on there, you can add um, your country flag. And once this is done and you fill out everything, you can click on the on-off switch to enable the lower third and it will display um, over your video. In addition to that, you can also display a clock with your local time zone. You can decide if it should be shown left or right. It will be in the upper right um, corner. And then again, just click the on-off switch and it will be visible. Um, if you are a m bit more familiar with like picture editing tools like Photoshop, GIMP or whatever, <clears throat> you can create your own custom overlay, um, which you may have seen in other Hangouts on Air um, or other videos. Um, to, to do that, basically, you just have to create a transparent PNG of the size of 650 by 360 pixel, 640 by 360, that, that's the correct size, and um, add your elements on this transparent PNG asset as you want, like a lower third and a logo on top, like TV shows have that. Um, be creative, feel free to add whatever you want and save that as a transparent PNG. And uh, once you have that done, you can choose this 640 by 360 overlay and um, enable that as well over the on-off switch. Um, if you would like to see your video the same way as the participants are seeing that, you can click on the blue button here, mirror my own video, which will unmirror your own video feed locally just for you. Um, so you can like check if everything looks correct. Um, <clears throat> sorry. If you have everything filled out, you can also save your preset. Um, just type in the name and click save. Um, sorry about that. You have to have one and uh, the lower third enabled, either the generic one or your custom lower third, and then click uh, enter a name and save that. Um, once you have saved your lower third, you can um, always use it again as long as you're on the same machine and you don't clear your cookies because it's um, saving it in the local storage of the browser. Um, just click the plus button to add or remove um, the lower third, the safe lower third to uh, your overlay. If you um, want to remove 
a safe preset, you can just click the trash can. It will ask you to confirm and it's gone. Okay, let's go to the meme faces. The meme faces is similar to the Google Effects app where you can add glasses, beards or whatever. Um, I just have, I just picked some random uh, meme faces which you then can just add by clicking on them. You can also uh, add a custom face if you have like a celebrity or whatever you have to cut out his face upload it somewhere it can be a Google Plus album and then add the URL here and click the on off button and you can also scale the size of the of the meme face or the, the, the face you, you choose um, to fit your face um, then we have the soundboard also um, similar to the Google Effects one um, there are some sounds in there, like a gas or a rim shot and stuff like that. It can be annoying sometimes, so um, don't use it all the time and, and annoy people with that. But in some cases it can be quite funny to use it in a hangout every now and then. And now another very useful tool, especially for hangouts on air, is a comment tracker um, developed by Gervin Sturm. And this basically allows you to aggregate all comments from different sources into one single stream. Um, you may notice when you do a Hangout on Air, you have comments coming in on Google Plus and on YouTube, and maybe you have a Twitter hashtag. So you have different th sources of, of comments, and it's hard to keep track of those comments during your show. And this app makes it a hell of a lot more easier. Um, so, for instance, um, let's pick a post I share today, add the URL here, and then click Add URL. Now it's searching um, this, this URL on Google+, Plus, and I can see here the post. And um, you have two icons down here, which lets you click uh, check for reshares. So if people shared, reshared your post, um, you can check those reshares as, as well and they will get added to your stream um, <clears throat> too. And you can also remove uh, one source if, if you added the wrong link or whatever. And then you have noticed that the stream tab turned yellow. That indicates that there's something new. And now I can see all the comments made on this particular post. And um, I can also remove posts or pin post. And um, the cool thing is that you have the show overlay and this allows you to display the comment full screen on your video to show it to your audience um, and discuss the comment just made and um, answer live on the show. And um, besides adding uh, a URL from Google+, Plus, you can also add a YouTube video, which will then grab the comments from the YouTube video or a hashtag. Um, um, you can just add the hashtag, for example, Moody Monday, and we say search Google Plus for that, and it says, yeah, we found the search, and the stream again is yellow, and then I can see um, here all the Moody Monday, Monday posts, and um, yeah, they're in chronological order, and the stream is auto also updating automatically um, if there are new comments coming in. You can also share your sources with others running the same app. So if you have like a moderator or an assistant during your Hangout show, you can run the app as well and you can like exchange your sources um, over the, the share tab. And then again, information about the app can be seen here as well. Terms of service, website, privacy, privacy policy, uh, more about Gervin Storm, um, also the text screen like the overlays were developed by Alan Furstenberg, and you can also see the check out the code um, on GitHub or Google Code. If you have more detailed questions about the comment tracker, feel free to reach out to me um, or Gervin Sturm or Alan Furstenberg. Um, they're all glad to help you and answer your questions. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as I said um, during the video, if you have any questions about the toolbox, about the setup process, um, or if you have any features you want to see in the app, feel free to mention me on Google+, 
or um, check out the product uh, project page and add a feature request to our issue tracker. Thanks for watching and I hope this will help to clear up some uh, confusion. Thanks.